And I knew from that minute, from being lost, to this is what I want to do in life. When did I feel lost? Now a lot of people probably don't know this about me, but I grew up in the country as a, as a youngster. Um, we left the farms and we ended up in Blacktown. Uh, I did my schooling there and I have to say that uh, school and I didn't get on. Um, I wasn't very academic and uh, we had a mutual agreement when I was 15 that I would leave them and they would leave me. I really didn't know what I wanted to do in life. In fact, I had no real passion. Um, I thought about being a motor mechanic, I thought about working on the railways, um, I thought about maybe being a butcher because as a young child we used to kill our own meat. Um, I kind of then thought that maybe I might be a baker. Um, I loved the idea of you know getting up really early in the morning and finishing work at midday to do whatever I wanted to do but I had no real passion and I was lost. Um, I didn't really know what to do, I could have ended up being a, a, a painter or, or a motor mechanic um, and then I decided that I would love to be a cook and I don't know why, um, maybe you know I used to spend a bit of time with my grandmother in the kitchen. I don't have one of those incredible romantic stories about my mother um, and my family being incredible cooks and, and uh, following in their footsteps and spending time with them in the kitchen. I started working in an RSL uh, at Parramatta which is not that glamorous. And I used to idolise a guy that was on the deep fryer because one day he wanted to be on the grill. Uh, I went for about 20 different interviews. Um, I didn't get one of them. And I ended up getting a, an interview at a place called La Berhalene, which happened to be one of the, the best restaurants um, in the country. And I went in there and I basically said to the, the owner and the chef, you give me a job and I promise you, you will not uh, regret it. And for those same words that I said to him, I got the job. Um, and hence, I ended up being the head chef there by the time I was 19 and uh, then moving on to Manfredi and then buying my first restaurant when I was 22. So from being lost to uh, where I am now with uh, eight, nine restaurants and building more, um, it was a pretty good uh, humbling beginning. <laughs>